The latest episode of Strictly Come Dancing saw Craig Revel Horwood replaced for the first time ever on the judging panel for Musicals Week, as Tilly and Nikita scored their first 40, Rose and Giovanni wowed with a quick step, and we said goodbye to Tom Fletcher and Amy Dowden. Um, thank you so much for joining us today, Jeanette. Um, My pleasure. We were just saying, strangest episode on Saturday, the first one ever without Craig. I mean, how did you think things were different? Oh my gosh. Well, for starters, I think Cynthia was an amazing booking for Strictly Come Dancing to have. What an absolute legend of musical theater and film. Um, so I feel like I was, I, I wish I would have danced for her. <laughs> Do you think that these goals changed as a result of him not being there? Um, I, I don't know. He's, at the end of the day, it really is just about opinions, isn't it? So I know he's a bit of a tougher judge. But I think it was nice, you know, we did, I did miss him. I missed him on the show loads when I was watching it. Uh, but it was really nice to get a little bit of a breath of fresh air with somebody completely different that also has so much knowledge about mm. musicals and performing. And obviously it's the first one where Ali Ash wasn't um, competing. I mean, how was that? I mean, is it a whole different viewing experience? Are you a bit less stressed? A, a little bit less stressed, I have to admit. <laughs> Uh, knowing that he was able to um, to just kind of enjoy the show for a change this weekend. But I miss watching him dance. I love watching him dance, you know. It's so funny, but as as his wife, and I think I fell in love with him the first time that I actually did watch him dance. So I missed watching him and Sara. I mean, we really miss you being on the show as well. I mean, I mean, would you ever want to be in the judging seat, do you think? I mean, never say never. I, I mean, I am really enjoying doing It Takes Two. I like being like everyone's support network. When they come to me on the couch on the week, I kind of feel like, okay, we can have a debrief. You can relax. <laughs> Tell me how you're feeling. <laughs> and I like being that support for all the couples. But never say never. I think I would be a very kind judge. It's very hard for me to ever be anywhere near like Craig. And what did you think of the dance of this week? Um, because that was a really tricky one to judge and I know oh, the yeah. judges found it really hard. I mean, in a situation like that, I just don't know who you pick. I would not have wanted to be any of those judges in that moment because it's so hard to say goodbye to anybody right now in the competition. Um, are you starting to get your top uh, three and or four people for the final? No, no, because I just, again, seeing Tom in the bottom this in the dance off this weekend was a shock to me. I just never expected. I don't know why I didn't expect him to be there, but he was. Uh, so as soon as you think you've got it, nope, it changes. <laughs> it can be completely flipped upside down. So I don't really have any, any idea what's going to happen over the next few weeks. And how much does that throw you off, you know, once you're in the dance off, how hard is it to come back next week and, you know, your confidence must really be knocked? Well, Tilly has been a, a beautiful example of that. You know, she was in the dance off a couple times there and survived and came back fighting. And then this weekend, I feel like she really blossomed with her couple's choice and doing that Matilda number that they did. She was just, I mean, perfection. She literally got a perfect score for it. But it goes to show you that it doesn't really matter. If you get in a dance off, it's not the end of the competition for you. We've had in the past winners that have also been in the dance off throughout mm. the series and ended up winning the competition um but it just it's good to see that tilly's come back fighting the last few weeks and now hopefully reese will come back again this week and fighting yet again to prove why he deserves to be in the competition i mean reese has been in the bottom i mean for saying he's incredible he's been in the bottom two a couple of times now i mean would you have any advice on how we could turn that around or is it literally just the public vote will be the public vote. I think the public vote will be the public vote. You know, he, I don't think Reese could work any harder. I think he mm. literally gives it every single week and every single day in the training room, he gives it 110% of himself. So at the end of the day, that's all you can ask for you from your celeb is to just work as hard as they possibly can to de deliver the best possible version of the routine on the Saturday night. And like for you personally, are you ever watching, like, especially something like Musicals Week, which is like so fun and so exciting. Do you ever to watch it like oh god i wish i was back on the dance floor with the yeah, partner, being involved course. in it yes especially this weekend i love musicals week and i only ever got to do musicals week once in my whole like kind of time on strictly no. and it was like my favorite dance that i ever did on the show which was the american smooth with harvey and our gold sequined outfit so yeah. and musicals week is just so iconic it's so i mean everybody knows the musicals you know the songs you know the characters that everybody's gonna play 
Um, and the show just goes above and beyond with the wardrobe and the props and the hair and makeup and everything. So I, yeah, I, I definitely watched the show this weekend going, oh, I wish I could be there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you have a personal favorite dance on Saturday, Jeanette? I'm not allowed favorites uh... as an intake to host. Um, but, you know, I, I, I have to admit all of them had something really special that they brought to the table. Dan really blew blew it out of the ballpark with his Charleston. I love the Viennese waltz that the boys did. I think it was nice to see them changing from leading to following. Tilly, obviously, top of the leaderboard. Recent Nancy's jive, like I said before, it's just a brilliant jive. I loved Rose and Giovanni's quick step. I was like, the Disney fan in me was dying that you yeah. know, we had Anna in the studio. Um, and then, you know, just all of them. AJ looked like a million pounds, like just, she looked amazing with the wig and the hair and the dress and the way they danced that and the set was like so beautiful. Um, uh, yeah, every single couple brought something really fantastic to the show on Saturday night. Thank you so much for chatting to us, Jeanette. No worries. Nice to see you all. Have pleasure. A nice week. to see you. Bye you bye. too. Bye, bye bye bye. Thanks again for joining us for our Strictly Insider. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you next week. Bye. bye.